welcome back so today's topic will be our on our ongoing orchard core cms series and i'll be showing you how to use the admin module to explore some of the functionalities within the admin dashboard and we'll inspect different aspects of the configurable website within the with admin dashboard and create and edit navigation menus explore the content template add a new block to the content template map to the new menu item and delete a section of the contents in the last lecture i have left the my tutorial site with the orchard core cms that i have built at this stage and i have promised to come back and uh, do some uh, play some tricks on this admin dashboard and try to make it a bit more useful okay and interactive so let's get back to the admin module so i've keyed in my username and password and waiting for the site to load with the admin so you have got this admin dashboard with my tutorial site now if you click right click and open link in a new tab it will come with the agency thing that we have seen okay uh, let's see so it's now familiar to you if you have gone through my last part which is again in the um, cards and in the description below the previous part so i strongly suggest that if you haven't been to the previous two parts please do visit okay now these menu are by default created when the project was created from this template so it is taking us to all of these uh, um, subsections in the same page and this is the landing page actually the my tutorial site and this is the contact okay with the um, social media links below twitter facebook and uh, linkedin so let's see if we could just do some something you know we could change something customize it a wee bit and then it will be of some value to us so here we can see we have a content items on the left navigation menu bar let's see what does it give so you can see over on the right side manage contents and it have it has got this my tutorial site which is the landing page which is published and it has got three buttons edit view and actions uh, you can edit my tutorial site and you, you can view it from here let's see and the actions are you can unpublish delete and clone the this landing page and similar with the main menus now if you just go through the main menu quickly you will see that the menu that you see over here services portfolio about team and contact it should be over here so let's wait and see when the menu loads okay so you have got this um, service services portfolio about team and contact with this uh, permalinks which is what it is called this link internal links tilde front slash hash services this is the link and you could edit from here uh, this link okay edit menu you can uh, sorry you can change this link menu item to service something else and then publish and you can change the url and then you can preview so let's say services my services and see the effect make it my services and publish so now it has changed this navigation menu so it has changed to my services okay so you can change the uh, menu items and you can the um, add a new menu item if you wish to change if you wish to add a add menu item then there are two choices link menu item add and content menu item okay so there is a link menu item which links to this custom url that you have seen here okay so this is the custom url if you look at the below um, this taskbar near the taskbar on the left hand side uh, bottom you can see hash services so this is the link this is links to a content url okay and link menu item so content menu item and link menu item let's see let's try play with this clicking on add over here 
So click on add. Let's see a link menu item. Say projects. And it always pays to play with this. You know, there is nothing you are going to break in. If something is broken, you can just uh, delete the project entirely and recreate. It's so easy. Okay. So that's not a problem. So let's keep the URL empty and see what happens if we publish. All right. So I hope it is public. Uh, it is published now. Projects link. I haven't put the link. So let's see. Now I have opened this template section. Okay. So here in this template section, right from design. Okay. So if I expand the design, you can see here settings, widgets, templates, and themes. Okay. So when I open up this template section, here you can see if you keep this tutorial site open and uh, look at this my service uh, e-commerce responsive design web security and then portfolio all these threads explore finish and about okay and then the team all the team members and their designation and then contact just keep this site in mind and then you can see that all these sections are actually rendered from here so services now and then portfolio grid then about okay so here this this looks like a html but this is not the normal html that is rendered as such that you are already familiar with this is called a special shape you know because if you like to read here so it, it makes sense div class and uh, div class h2 header h3 class but much of this thing is not understood uh, and it, it is it is special type of shape that is being rendered from the html to the screen to give us um, something like this you know this is the rendered output now that is out, out of the scope of this present lecture and I will try to see if I can accommodate it in some pre, uh, future lecture. But for the time being, this is coming from here. So let's try one thing. Let's create a project section and repeat what is written in one of the sections. That is the easiest way. Now, this project link that I have created, I have this project navigation menu. Now it will be shown. And now what I have done, I have given it a URL uh, tilde slash hash projects. Now, how I am going to link this URL to the actual content. Now, please stay on. So I have clicked this content definition and here content types. And then it's not here so design click on design yes templates so the template that i was showing you and when i click on edit that is a complete template right so what i did was that you know just to quickly show you how i create the content which is mapped to the navigation link project so what i did i i, I came to the bottom very end of this listing you know template so I just pasted this part and made it project. So this is this was about section. So I, so don't worry about that. So what I needed to change was an ID. ID was previously it was changed from about to projects. Okay, and this is the complete section, which is the end section. And now when I put the ID to projects, and then I changed the menu. In the menu section, I just uh, just to repeat, this was changed to this URL, and now if I click on uh, my tutorial site and open it in a new link tab, you can see that the project is there. Now this will show the about. So here I have created another navigation link with another section, and you can change it if you are thorough in template design, but that will be some time later. Okay. So again. Just before leaving, I would like to show you one more thing about editing the landing page. So here I have landed from this content and content items. And uh, this is the my tutorial site landing page. And if you click on edit on this button, it takes you to this services 
and portfolio sections about and uh, team clients and that's it so these were coming from these links you know services portfolio about team and contact and then projects which i have made just uh, by cloning the about section which you can always change now if you want to play if you just want to change something in the e-commerce site if you expand you will see that this the title of the content item is e-commerce and html body lorem ipsum dollar and icon class is there so if you like to just see for yourself if you delete this section let's see what happens okay and then publish again So after having published the site once more with the change uh, I have browsed to the site and now you see that e-commerce section is now missing because we have deleted it earlier. So today we have seen that how to um, customize your dashboard from the navigation menu and did a bit of uh, change to the edit, uh, edit menu section. We have added a new menu and we have also added some content. We have seen what is the template class. So stay tuned to the next part of this series. Thank you.